Matt, 132 pound championship. This one of the highlight matches of the night. Colton Schilling of Sweet Home, who is a two time state champion, but last year came in second place wrestling against Zach Bresser from Henley, the younger brother of the, of the young man who beat Schilling in the finals last year, 120 pounds. Zach Bresser is a junior from Emily and a defending state champion himself, winning the 113 pound title last year. The two wrestlers staying low, keeping their distance, kind of swatting at the heads a little bit. Schilling again, a hard shot out of bounds they go. It's already a little chippy in this match, 20 seconds in. And the wrestlers staying low on the mat. Schilling now goes for the head. Not giving Bresser anything to shoot at. They're just kind of swatting at each other's heads at the moment. Now they tie up the edge of the mat. Schilling tries to uh, drag the head down. Now working the front headlock. Bresser is out of bounds. Schilling about to get there. Out they go. A minute eight left in the first period. No score yet. Schilling staying low to the mat, not giving Presser anything to shoot at. To almost in football stances at this point. Now tie up. Presser again with his back to the center. Zach Presser again tries to get in a shot, blocked by Schilling. Now tries to work the front headlock. Presser backing towards out of bounds. Schilling now. Comes up over the top, still working the head, and out of bounds they go, back to the center, 28 seconds remaining, a scoreless first period. Colton Schilling was the champion of Region 4, which is the Oregon West and Sky M Leagues, Ronnie Bresser the champion of Region 3. Again, that is the Far West and Skyline Leagues, the Southern and Western Oregon schools. Five seconds remaining in the first period again. Tied up towards the edge. No score as we end the first period. Zek Presser to reach this final. Won his first two matches by technical falls over Stone Rathlin of Estacada, Chandler Fortune of McLaughlin. Won by a pin this morning in the semis over Logan Weeks of Tillamook. Schilling down, quickly to his feet, start second period, driven straight out of bounds by Bresser, will go right back to the middle. Colton Schilling, to get to this point, won by pin over Jose Stevens of Ontario in the first round, a pin over Ben Gadboyce of Scapoose in the quarterfinals, and won 9-0 this morning over defending state runner-up Miguel Vasquez of Madras in the semifinals. He was the third seed in this tournament. Zach Bresser, the number one seed. Back down to the middle. We've had two instances so far. The wrestler's heading straight out of bounds. Schilling to his feet. Forced out of bounds. Straight to his feet again. Presser, though, controls the ankle. Trips. Schilling works right back to a base. Right back to his feet. Tries to feel the hand. Presser drops down to the ankle. Just sits there holding it. He can't do that for too long. He will get called for a stalling warning. That call there is for potentially dangerous. A minute and a half to go. A minute and a half left in the second period. Still no score in this 132-pound final. Again, quickly to the beat. This time showing to the middle. Again, presser down to the ankle and trips. Showing again, working to a base. Presser has always been quickly down to the ankle, and once again, down to the ankle trip. Now a hard cross face. And out of bounds they go. Stalling warning now on Zek Presser. The referee saying, all you're doing is dropping down to the ankle and running him out of bounds. You need to do something more than that. First stalling warning of the match for Presser. And he just... Let's Schilling go. It is 1-0 now, 1-0 in favor of Colton Schilling.
And now we are on injury time. Injury time for Zek Presser. Each wrestler gets one and a half minutes of injury time during the match. Coach Pete Lucas attending to the young man. The head coach for Sweet Home, Steve Thorpe, talking to his wrestler. He can do some coaching during injury time. If Presser is unable to continue after a minute and a half, the match will be over by injury default. Three state championships on the mat in this match. Colton Schilling looking for his third one in four years, the senior. Presser now back to his feet, back on the mat, having used up about half of his injury time for the match. And we'll be back in the center. 38 seconds to go in the second period, or correction, one minute to go in the second period. Colton Schilling, the sweet home, with a 1-0 lead. Should this match come down to overtime, Schilling scoring that first point may make a huge difference at the end. If it gets to that, I'll explain why. Again, out of bounds they go, almost taking out the referee on the 3A mat. It's been Schilling with his back to the center most of the time in this match. Both wrestlers quickly in on the leg presser now, working a single leg. Schilling trying to defend. Still on his feet. Presser works to the other ankle. Scores the takedown. First takedown of the match. Two to one. Now the score is Zach Presser of Emily in the lead. Schilling, though, on top at the moment. If he can get his ankle free, come around the back, he'll score a reversal. Presser still with that ankle. Schilling now works around to the other side. Presser holds on for all he's worth. Five seconds to go. Still no score. Now Presser comes out on top of the scramble, and that's the end of the second period. Zach Presser of Henley with a 2-1 to one lead. As we go to the third period, the referees are going to have a little discussion here. As we go to the third period, it'll be Presser's choice. And we're starting injury time once again, it looks like. Presser with 35 seconds of injury time left. It looks like he's just going to take a little break here. Obviously, not pleased with that is the sweet home side of the mat. Fifteen seconds of injury time remaining. Right now it would appear Judging by the scoreboard, that that takedown was not granted. And we're looking at 1-0 here going into the third period. We're going to take the two points away from Bresser. Big discussion going on at the table. Still trying to figure out what happened with the takedown. Scoreboard showing the score as 1-0 in favor of Schilling. And because of the second use of injury time, I think Schilling will be given the choice here. The referee's going to explain it. Schilling has the choice. There was no takedown. The score is 1-0, and Schilling is down to begin the third period. Looked like Presser was granted a takedown, ultimately not scored. And because of his second use of injury time, Schilling got to choose, chose down, is quickly out for a 2-0 lead, and the rest was back on their feet. Schilling now staying low. He was up too high one time too many. Presser got into that ankle, almost scored the takedown. Ultimately, the scramble judged to have been no control. Now Schilling staying low on the mat. He has not been called for stalling yet in this match. Presser has. The referee's going to tell him, stop slapping at each other's face. And a technical violation scored against Presser. 
Schilling now with a 3-0 lead. Again, Bresser trying to shoot. Blocked by Schilling. The wrestlers tie up at the edge of the mat. And out of bounds they go. 124 remaining. Colton Schilling of Sweet Home with a 3-0 lead. He knows Zach Bresser well. He's given him nothing to shoot at on the legs. Again, an almost struck by Bresser runs all the way to the other side of the map. Again, down low they go. They tie up. A stalling call against Bresser and a takedown. No takedown, no takedown out of bounds. But on the stalling call, that's his second warning, and Schilling's lead is now 4-0. to zero. A technical violation for a second stalling call makes it 4-0. This is the only match still going on at this point in the entire building. Checking it out. Making their opinion known here. Now we're back. 4-0. 58 seconds remaining. Again, Schilling trying to pull him by. Bresser too quick, though, able to get out. The wrestlers tied up once again. Attempt at a fireman's carry now. Bresser with the front headlock. Still working that front guard lock out of bounds they go 24 seconds and a little extracurricular stuff going on after the whistle twenty seconds remaining in the match Colton Schilling of Sweet home with a 4-0 lead gonna get back that state championship he lost last year if he can hold on the wrestlers tie up once again Presser tries anything he can. Schilling gets loose, gets a takedown at the end of the match. Out of bounds they go. 6-0 to score. There are two seconds to go. A little bit more extracurricular stuff after the whistle. Let's see what the referees decide. They say, on the mat, please. It's 6-0 with two seconds to go. And Colton Schilling of Sweet Home, the state champ in the 4A division at 132 pounds. A 6-0 win over Zek Bresser from Henley. Three-time state champion Colton Schilling of Sweet Home. We'll be back here in just a moment on OSAA.TV.